the very first and the simplest way to optimize your code is whenever you have multiple children and you want to group them, then always use React fragments. With that, you can see React fragment does not create uh, additional HTML element wrapper. So for example, if I write a div here, then you'll see there these two headings are inside this div element, which is unnecessary. Guys, the second way to achieve performance is avoid using the index as a key. It's always better to use a unique identifier from your data itself. So here I can use item dot ID because ID is present here. In case this unique identifier is not present in your data, you can use something like short ID dot generate. It will always generate a unique ID for you. Guys, the third easy and effective way to optimize your React component is to use a React dot memo. If your component renders the same result, if given the same props, then you can wrap the entire component into React dot memo. This means that React will skip re-rendering the component and reuse the last rendered result. Guys, the fourth way is to use debouncing. I'll put a debouncing resource link in the description. That's it guys for this video. If you know any other way to optimize the React application, please comment below.